Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous video, we were talking about how my Golf R has got a Haldex pump problem. Basically, front wheel drive now, it's a nightmare to drive, it's no fun. Obviously, it's meant to be all wheel drive, and as far as I'm aware, it's a common, common problem. Now, a lot of people have been telling me just to drop the oil and clean the filter, but I do this every 5,000 miles, which I know is a bit excessive, and VW do recommend to do it every 30,000 but because I want to keep well the Haldex pump in good shape why not just do it every 5,000 along with the engine oil. Now the Golf R now has done 55,000 miles and I think that's good going for a Haldex pump but I've had Haldex pump problems in the past and then they've just been sorted out with fresh oil and the filter clean. Anyway today I'll be putting in a brand new Haldex pump with fresh oil so let's just get on with the video and change this pump so this is what a Haldex pump looks like I can't believe how small it is and for something this small causes all sorts of problems with your all-wheel drive system this is the genuine VW Haldex oil it's only 850 mil which is not a lot for the price it is and with the oil you do get this fitting kit as well now I had this oil from Awesome GTI I leave these parts in the description down below. Now I had this off eBay. I think it's Haldex Repairs, I think. I'm not too sure, but I think that's what the company is called. But anyway, this does come with a two year warranty. This was 170 pound, and this oil was 70 pound with the fitting kit. So for 850 mil, that's expensive for a bit of oil. So this is where it's located and the only tricky thing with changing the pump is it does have a sensor up here and it does go all the way up here so it's kind of tricky. The clip you need to take off you can get a better view just under here. I'm not too sure if you can see it but there's like a green line on it and that's the clip you need to undo so that's going to be quite tricky to do and this is something that I don't want to break I really don't want to break that clip because it's going to cause all sorts of problems so I'm just trying to get a feel for it because if any of you guys are like me I just don't like undoing clips to get at this clip here I thought it'd be quite tricky but it's actually easier than it looks now, the wire goes from the Haldex pump up and round, and then it goes to here, but then it clips into this, which I'm guessing is some sort of ECU. Now, this ECU is normally bolted on here with two Torx bits. So if you undo the two bolts there, you can drop it down, but not as far as this because that other clip will be plugged in. It normally drops down to about here and then you can get a screwdriver and actually push in the clip so it unplugs from there and another thing this black plastic clip here undo that because you can actually move this wire around a little bit more and it gives you a bit more room to undo that clip I've also gone ahead and undone the filler cap I've cracked loose the drain plug and on the Haldex pump I've also cracked loose this 10mm and there's another 10mm up there. Because I haven't got a fancy pan on wheels to drain the oil into I'm just gonna grab my pan and hold it and just stand there like a lemon until the oil runs out. I'm gonna tuck up this up here so it doesn't fall into the oil. My luck, that's going to swing straight into this. There we go. And I didn't even get any on my fingers. So that's good going. So the oil coming up to you is pretty clean. But like I said, 5,000 miles ago, this got changed. I'm gonna go ahead, leave that run into there, and 
now I'm gonna start undoing the hard axe pump with the 10 mils. And this one you have to use a Torx bit for. So a quick update, as soon as I took this Haldex pump off, which is the standard one, the new one is the wrong part. Now I emailed the seller asking him is this going to be the right part, I even put a post up on Instagram and a few people told me the part number, but if you notice side by side, this is way smaller than that. Now I, I should have checked this. But I suppose there's no way you can really tell until the part is off. To show you guys how wrong this part is, unless I'm doing it wrong, but I, I'm surely not that stupid. So there's where the Haldex pump goes. This is the new part. And as you can see there, that is way off. So it's been a week since I fitted the wrong Haldex pump to the golf R and in this box here I've got a brand new Haldex pump from Haldex Parts on eBay and it's the right part this time. They sent this out pretty quick, they answered my email straight away and they sent this part out so I can't fault them for that. I've also got fresh oil because I'm not going to use the oil that's coming out of there for obvious reasons. This is the correct Haldex pump for the golf R and this is the correct part number. Now, be sure to screenshot that. I don't want to lead you guys on to buying wrong parts because that's not what I'm about. The same again with this. This comes with a two year warranty. And like I just said, it comes from Haldex Parts on eBay. So right now the oil is draining for the second time and I'm gonna go ahead, get this old pump out and show you guys and then go from there. Got the old Haldex pump off and as you can see the new one is completely identical. So this Haldex pump is more expensive than the pump in the start of the video. So I do apologize for that. I had no clue. I wanted to keep it real. It's not one of these YouTube channels where I get it wrong and just edit it out. We all get things wrong and I want to show you guys that yeah, I make mistakes as well. So this is an easy mistake. And finally I've got a pump that fits. I've been waiting all week for this. I'm gonna go ahead and nip these up. I'm using a 10 mil. And the reason why I've got an extension by here is because I need the extension to get up here. I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just telling you the way I do it and the way I find easier. So I'm not going to do these up too tight, I'm just going to nip them up. I don't want them snapping, that's the last thing I want. So that's the Haldex pump in place. So now the pump is in, I'm going to go ahead and tighten the drain plug. Same again with this, I don't want to over tighten it. A lot of people use a fancy pump to put this Haldex oil in, but today I'm going to be using this syringe. now. This is going to take around nine times to fill up. When the oil starts running out of the filler hole, you know that's enough oil. You then got to put the plug back in. Go ahead, start the car up for around two minutes or so. Don't let it get too hot because the exhaust is here and you could probably burn your hands on it. Then you've got to fill it back up with some more Haldex oil because this Haldex pump takes up quite a bit of oil. And if you did just fill it up and drove it around, your differential is going to be short of oil, do some serious damage. So before I start the car, I made sure that all the plugs are back in and it was bolted on properly. I've now plugged the connector from the Haldex pump back in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car up. The 
oil is all done now, the Haldex pump is on, all is left is to bolt this back on and to clip the wiring up here and then it's all done. So this is all done, this was nice and easy to do. So next I'm going to catch you guys when I take this car for a drive because now I'm just simply bolting on two 10 mils and a clip. So nothing interesting going on now and obviously I've got to check to see if everything is up nice and snug. So it's taken me about two weeks to get to this point in the video. It's been an absolute nightmare. Every time I've gone and done something with the car, like you've seen in the video, I've gone out to test drive it and something's been wrong. Something is, something's not right with this car for the traction to keep cutting in and, well, for it to be front wheel drive, on and off. So the aim for this video was to change the Haldex pump and change the oil and then at the end of the video I'll tell you guys that everything is fixed and everything is sorted but I'm not going to lie to you, it's been an absolute nightmare, it's still the same, it is slightly better but considering I've split the ECU, checked for corrosion and that's all good. I've even changed the Haldex pump, fresh oil, I've rebooted the car and I've added the Haldex pump recalibrated twice. Still nothing, I've driven on two types of tyres. One set of tyres where they had about one mil left, they were a set of fault guns. Didn't drive correctly on those, it was just, the car was everywhere. I've also tried Pilot Sport 4S's which were on Scott's. Pretoria wheels and still you had a little bit of wheel spin but only when you really put your foot down in second gear so it's, it's driven the best on the Michelin but it's still not right I think maybe it's the Haldex clutch and if it is you may as well just change the rear diff but then I don't want to spend all that money on a new rear diff or reconditioned one and for it to drive the same. So, I've run out of ideas. Let me know in the comment section what you think the problem is with this car. If you did want to enjoy this video, please leave a like in the like rating down below. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe for more Mark 7 r content. And I will say the next video is an update on stage three because the parts have arrived. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.